Here's another quick and easy holiday how-to. It's all about holiday cupcakes in this tutorial and we'll be using some of our favorite products from the Lux Food Decorating Company. Stay with us! Creating fun, festive holiday cupcake designs has never been easier and we're going to show you several different designs today. Susan's using a piping bag with no tip. It does have a coupler on it and she's just simply creating a nice little frosting base for her sprinkles. She's taken three different colors of sprinkles and mixed them up, and then she's going to simply coat the sides of the frosting on the cupcake to create some interesting texture. All the cupcake designs we're creating here today are super quick and super easy to do. They're definitely um, easy for kids to do, for adults, they also look really nice if you have a retail shop and you're looking for a line of kind of grab-and-go cupcakes. Uh, this definitely fits the bill. So Susan has coated the frosting with the sprinkles and then she's just simply going to take some of the Decons by Lux, which again are the sugar-coated, um, it's a fine sugar that's been pressed into a mold and uh, colored with an edible, edible dye. Um, and they make really cute additions to your cupcakes. So they come in a number of different styles. We've got the Christmas light bulbs, we have the gingerbread boys, um, we have some Christmas balls, candy canes, some uh, snowflakes, as well as some cute little penguins doing a number of different things. So look how quick and easy that is. Just pop on a couple decons and boom, you've got a cupcake. For our next cupcake design, we'll be using a 1M tip along with our buttercream filled bag. And we're just going to be creating a standard swirl on top of our cupcakes. We're going to be using the Lux Green Shimmer and Red Shimmer airbrush color. And we are going to simply airbrush those swirls with these beautiful colors by Lux. We've gone ahead and airbrushed the tops of our cupcake swirls using the Red Shimmer Airbrush Color by Lux. We also took a round scalloped cookie cutter and just simply punched out some fondant discs that will be the toppers for our cupcakes. Using some of these sugar layons, we'll put a little bit of buttercream right in the middle of the disc and go ahead and just glue the sugar decon right to the middle. Next, we took a little bit of that green airbrush color, that green shimmer color. And we're just creating a border around our scalloped edge. Now, before you get too far around your edge, you want to go ahead and put that disc right on top of your cupcake and then finish out your border. And there you have it, another cute holiday treat. For this cupcake, we chose to use one of the edible images, one that had several different sayings. This particular one says joy. We simply took our scissors, cut out the word joy, used a little bit of buttercream as our glue, placed the edible image right on top of that glue, and then we're taking again some of that green airbrush color, the shimmer airbrush color, and using that as a border on our scalloped edge. As before, you want to stop before you get all the way around, place that topper right on top of the frosting, and then finish out your border. And you have another cute holiday design. So you can leave it as is, or you can take one of the sugar decons and jazz it up a little bit, add a little bit more color up there on your disc. Or at this point, it's actually more of a plaque. But how cute is that? Lots of color, very festive, quick and easy. And that is what we want at the holidays. Quick, easy designs. Who wouldn't like to eat that? Our next design is just as easy as all of the other ones. We're simply going to take the sugar decons and just lay them about on top of our cupcake swirl, alternating the colors to create a really festive, fun cupcake. And there you have it. This next cupcake is super fast and very festive. Using a piping bag filled with 
buttercream without a tip, just a coupler, go ahead and create your frosting base. Next, take another bag full of green buttercream with a grass tip inside and just go all the way around the outer edge working towards the center, creating a wreath with that grass tip. So you're gonna to lightly touch your frosting and pull out all the way around. Next, take a gingerbread decon and place that right in the middle of your cupcake. And then we're going to take a number three tip and we're just gonna create some berries going all the way around our cupcake. Add a cute little candy cane decon few more berries and you have a fun festive cupcake. This next cupcake design is sure to be a hit with the kids. So again, taking your pastry bag full of buttercream with a coupler on it, a no tip, just create your frosting base. This is going to be the base in which our design will sit upon. Using some white fondant by Satin Ice, just go ahead and create a nice ball. We're gonna place that down and then taking another piece of fondant, we're going to create kind of a tapered log that will become the front of our, our little igloo. So you just wanna curve that down and around the front. Next, take your knife tool and just create some indentations that would mimic that of an igloo. So just go all the way around. You've got the little circle on the top of the igloo and then you've got your outer markings, you know, working your way out from there. Really quick, really easy. And what goes with an igloo? Penguins, of course. How cute is that? So next we're gonna take some of the Sugar Art colors. We have a luster that's just gonna go over the top of it, a super pearl, to give it that snowy look. And then using another brush, we're gonna take a little bit of the Sugar Art blue, which is more of a, it's kind of a frosty blue, and just kind of highlight it here and there, just to give it some interest. And then once we get done with that, we're just gonna pop that right on top of our cupcake, which now looks like a snowy bank with an igloo on top. And how cute is that, a little penguin? What kid wouldn't love to eat that? I mean, what adult wouldn't love to eat that? So next we're gonna take some of our satin ice blue and some of the satin ice white and just simply mix those two colors together. And that's gonna create a little base for the design that Susan's gonna put atop of this cupcake. Go ahead and hit it with a little bit of the pearl, a little bit of the blue. And then we're going to take a little bit of our icing, use that as a glue to place on the bottom of the penguin so that he stands upright and then just simply create some snow. And that will also hold all of our cute little snowflakes that we're gonna first dust with some of the Super Pearl. Little bit of that blue, just to add interest. Colors really make things pop on cupcakes. So adding the, the petal dust and the luster dust really, really spice up or jazz up your designs. Look at that little penguin dancing amongst the snowflakes. How cute is that? And there you have it. Two more super cute holiday cupcakes.
Now for a final touch on our penguin themed cupcakes. We're taking a little bit of sanding sugar. This is kind of more of a coarse sanding sugar that has a pearl sheen to it. And just simply placing that right on top of that cloud of buttercream, or I should say that snowy bank of buttercream, just creating even more vid visual texture and interest to these cute little cupcakes. And there you have it. Cupcakes galore. Sure to be a delightful addition to your holiday festivities. So until next time, make it sweet or savory, but always delicious. <laughs>